Hi everybody, today we're taking a look at the changes in multitasking on the iPad with iPadOS 15. It's not too dramatically different and most of it is just form and not necessarily the function. We're going to look at all the changes here today as well as comparing it to iPadOS 14 and every iPad that supported iPadOS 14 will support iPadOS 15 as well. So getting started, the basics are identical to last year's. So if you have a window open, such as I have Safari here, you can drag open a different app or even the same app. So I could drag over another Safari tab, but I'm gonna drag over a files app from my dock. And of course I get to the dock by swiping up. So I drag the files over to the right side and wait for it to go kind of split screen or the left side and wait for it. And then I can adjust by sliding this middle grasper to the right or left and I have split screen. Of course, there's also the ability to swipe over from the right to bring in an app to live on the side of your screen as well. Or you can also pull up the dock and I'll pull up another files window and I can just kind of put it halfway and let it sit on the side. And then I can switch between them by swiping left and right on the side. Or I can close it by swiping there or I can bring it back. Now you may have just seen that there is a slightly new animation when you're doing slide over this little pull bar. So you can see what that looks like and we can slide that over. Additionally, what's the same this year is that if you hold on an icon anywhere on the OS, you can click show all windows. And if you have multiple windows of this open on your iPad or multiple instances of that app, you'll see all the windows. So here we just have a regular files app. Here we have the files plus Safari. And here we have a new addition. It now shows you the slide over as well. And if we go into your multitasking view by swiping up to the top, you can see that we also have slide over present here to the right hand side of all your applications, which we didn't have before. So now we get the slide over view to the right. You can swipe up to close an application just like this, or you can use multiple fingers and close multiple at the same time like this. But what's new this year is that we have a new little icon showing that you have multiple instances or multiple windows of this app open on your iPad. So if you click on that, It'll show you all the windows again. This is the view that we just looked at. So that is the same. So again, if you click on the little icon, it'll show you all of the instances. So for instance, here is Safari and here are all my Safari windows. There are far too many, but you can see those there by again, clicking that little icon. But what's new this year is this little indicator at the very top of your iPad. You normally would have somewhat of this icon in your split screen view already, which allows you to adjust it. But this is different this year because this is available in your full screen apps as well. So if you click on that, it gives you Mac OS style options between full screen, which we have now, so which will instantly pop it into full screen from whatever split screen view you had. Then you can also do left or right. So if you click this, it'll swing it over to the side and then you can choose any app that you want to put on the other side of this. Now this is different because previously you could pretty much only choose the apps that lived in your dock or were showing on the recent apps on the dock in order to multitask. But now you can choose any app you want assuming that it supports the side by side. So if I go ahead and we'll use files again, it'll now pull up these two side by side just like that and I can still adjust left and right and if I wanna bring either of these back to full screen, I click on that button again and click full screen. Now there's also the option of doing that same thing, but with slide over. So this is different. So you can click slide over, and again, it lets you choose any app that you wanna put on top. So I'll say App Store. So now App Store is opening with music to the side. Again, that is new with that function. But probably the biggest change is going to be the new shelf. So when you open up an application at the bottom, it's going to be your shelf. And this is just another way of presenting and viewing all your windows for that application. You can also get to the shelf by clicking that button up top and it will pull up your shelf right down there. And again, this just shows you all of your windows. It's nothing new, it's just a redesign basically, adding your windows down to the bottom with a new presentation. And now if you have an app open and then you click on it again in the dock, it's going to pull up your shelf instead of previously pulling up the full screen window mode. Now, just as before, you have the ability to actually have four apps technically open at once. So if I go ahead and play a video here in the MLB app and I'll do picture in picture and I'll close that. And then I'll go ahead and open up Safari and I can drag finder or files over here and then I can do slide over. So now I technically have four apps open at once 
I have Safari, I have files, I have music, and then I have my media over here with picture in picture. So just as before, you can have four apps open at once. That's pretty much the extent of multi-window support on the iPad. There's, there's nothing new there. You can't have other hovering apps except for notes if you use the quick note feature, which I'll talk about in a future video. And then finally, the last change is you actually have a nice new ability to drag apps on top of each other in order to multitask. So I'll drag App Store over Calendar and I can choose left or right. And this is a really great way of quickly multitasking is actually a pretty nifty way of getting into that mode, which I think is gonna be pretty intuitive for a lot of people. So you just drag that over an app and quickly get into multitasking. Now this little toggle up top also acts as an indicator to show you which tab that you're currently working on. So if you're typing on one side, it'll show the dark indicator and the other one will go light. And if you switch back, it'll show the dark indicator on there. So that way you can see which one you're actively working on. And other functions remain the same, such as doing command tab, to switch between your recent apps. And if you wanna see your multitasking shortcuts, you can hold down your command key on your keyboard and it will give you some, such as app switcher with the globe up button and then switching between recent apps with the globe to the left and right. So this does make some things easier, such as the ability to choose any app that you want to join in multitasking, whereas before you had to rely on what was in the dock. So this does save a step there, and that's nice. And then the new shelf is nice, but again, a little bit of a learning curve because it's a little bit different than before, but it basically it allows you to stay within your application and choose a different window without going into the all window mode. And if Apple changes any of these functions or features in a future beta update, I'll be sure to update the channel as well. But that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.